This week on From Mill to Still, we take in Mother Nature, we boat the Dutchman, and we do some mill stuff. Stay tuned. <laughs> Let's go. I'm Robbie Delaney. My wife Caroline and I started Muddy River back in 2011 with 35 bottles a day and a still named Freedom built in my parents' backyard. Let's go. Year by year, we steadily grew the company into 6,000 square feet, our second location, taking our 30 bottles a day production to 1,300 bottles Let's a day go. production. This is our first four year barrel done. Okay. We've outgrown our space in Belmont. So now yeah. we're moving the entire production upriver, up the Catawba, up Dutchman's Creek. Our new home will be the Mount Holly Cotton Mill, where we're doing a full Let's historic go. restoration. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. Nice. I don't wanna go to work. Gonna blow up the building with the rum. And this is just the beginning. I need a big change, help me feel like living. I need a big swing, home run, so I'm hitting it. Don't mind me, just take a little pre-drink. We've all got dreams. We've all got dreams. We can make liquor now. Yay, liquor. Yay. My least favorite task here, moving barrels. If you jack it up with a power rack, you might notice the whole stack is like, like that, and then you're like, oh, great. You can do Going from 6,000 square feet to 20,000 square feet, we'll not only manufacture, bottle, and package our rum, we'll also have a full service cocktail bar with a restaurant, private event spaces, a venue for concerts, shows, and festivals. Ooh. We've got a lot of work to do. Holy, seriously? The bottom half of those two by fours are trash. You can't put those in the building. Follow along as we transform this property from mill to still. All right, I'm gonna walk away from this one. It just seems like that time of year. The trees are green. The attitudes are better. The weather's just right. Arturo, when are you leaving today? 5.30? I'm probably gonna leave here like one. I'm gonna leave here at one, if you don't mind. 12, 12. We'll see when my wife calls me. This week, you had Kevin Cut this hole, right? Yeah. So we need access. There's one, one tiny little crawl space that barely a human can fit into over the what well, was the furnace room. So Arturo cut this brick here, and then Kevin chipped through a man doorway. So we have access, so we can put our employee bathroom in above it. So that's a pretty creepy room. And, uh, Kevin had to chip through six layers of brick to get in there. Yes, sir. That's crazy. There was some pipe in there, too. And then all the pipes, all the water lines went through that. But uh, that that's one of the last items we had. I kept forgetting to ask you to do it, and then I remembered that one particular day when we were walking by, like, looking for punch items. And it just goes to show you, even, like, the littlest stuff around here, that intimidates the crap out of most people. Like, they don't want to do that. And Kevin's like, oh, no big deal. He takes a chipping hammer, and 20 minutes later, 30 minutes later, he's got a freaking giant hole in the, right. in the wall through 30 inches of brick. Yeah. And that's pretty cool. And, and that's not the only difficult thing you guys do effortlessly out here, which I think is cool. How far is your commute to work, Arturo? I drive the drive, right? Let's see. I drive two hours in the morning and two hours go back home. Every day? Every day. Every day, and and you wanted to work on Saturday this week, yes, sir. I try to keep up with you, but I, it's hard sometimes. Um, which is crazy, because not only do you make that drive, but you stop at each of your guys' houses and pick them up, yes, sir, and take them here. Yeah. So, hell of a deal, man. Thank you, man. You need to move to Charlotte, and we'll just stay together as one big family forever. Yeah. 
Yeah. We can take over the world, man. Well, why do you need to hear that? We had yeah. to move from here. I'll talk her into it. We'll get her on the boat one day. Okay. That'll right. do it. Good job, man. Sure. He's also finished the plaster here. So this goes up into the offices. This looks flipping phenomenal. We'll just rinse it off. And next step is to paint yeah. and pour concrete and do like a million other things. But anyway, that happened this week. I gotta show these guys this video. Oh God. Hey, Ruby. You gotta see this, Arturo, hang on. Oh God. And then wait, wait. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. I showed my insurance guy yesterday and he's like, You've been fighting so hard for this YouTube channel to be successful, and then you're telling me you might not launch the most viral potential video you've ever had possession of? That's the best video ever. <laughs> every year I say I'm gonna use the boat, and every year I don't. I took it out last year and cleaned it. Never touched it. Hey, Dad. hey Marty. Can we go swimming now? We'll go swimming in a minute. Let's let Jordan do what he needs to do first, okay? We can like get out there a ways and then you lift off. You have complete control. You're, it's not like you're like on getting on a train. You can be like, Robbie, turn around. Robbie, stop. Robbie, go faster. You, can, you have complete control. Get in the boat, Marty. Except for him, he does what he wants. I'm just gonna drive to the Dutchman. Good. How's the view? Good. This is going to be way better than that Google Maps, but that was good inspiration. Yeah. Well, as soon as I saw that, I was like, we should drone this. Marty Delaney. Marty Delaney. Oh. Marty. <laughs> Ow. Oh, right in the gut. Hey, that's my kidney. I need my kidneys. I need my kidneys to process rum. Oh. Ow. Ah. Ah. Good God, man. I'm gonna go ahead and stop us here. So once you're done. Mm, no. Marty, look how gross this water is. I'm pretty sure there was a giant catata fish. What's a catata fish? It's like a catfish, but more aggressive. Now what do we do? Now we wait. Marty, did you know Jordan eats his boogers? What? Yeah, you're a booger eater. <laughs> yep. Just land it right here. You're good. You can land it. Nailed it! Next time, let me put a towel down on my upholstery before you go land. Since we know what we're doing now, this buttery pleather is seven years old and looks brand new. Okay, it's uh, 10 till. So I got 40 minutes. I can go 15 minutes into this creek and then I got to turn us around. 3.9, 4.2, will we make it? Look at that, Chupacabra. I think it was a uh, Firehawk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The illustrious Firehawk. I just like to see my arm flying around all over the place. The pelican? Oh, the herring. Herring. <laughs> herring. 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 Them herrings. I'm like, it's a fish, dude. Hey, man. Ah, look at that. Two people aren't stupid on this boat. No. Maybe even Marty. That could be two and a half people. <laughs> I don't know. That's a window licker if I ever seen one. <laughs> oh, he's oh like, my god. Immediately like, hey, just wash that window. With farts. Oh my god. Eh? Marty, that window is in no way clean. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Marty, have you ever seen the movie Lake Placid? <laughs> That'll make you not want to go swimming in water you can't see the bottom. Hey, Dad. They said that's good when hey, we get a boat to you. Dad, can we go swimming now? I used to take my old bass tracker into creeks like this and then go 30 miles an hour out of them. Well, it didn't matter, you know, you can't really screw it up. I could technically do that here, it's just I have a child in the boat. And besides Jordan, I have Marty too. Can you tell on Google Maps how far into this thing we are? Here's us, come around this bend. Like, the plant's right there, the mill's right there, but we have to come back around up in this, see what I'm saying? Wow, as the crow flies, we're like right there. Yeah. Damn, six feet. Yeah, it should get pretty deep behind these boulders. Where did we swim the other day? It's gotta be around this bend. 
Just around the river bend? Around the river bend. Should have brought my banjo. Ding, 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 ding. I don't know, banjo. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I wish I did. This is concerning, for sure. Let's see what nature does with us. Hey, Dad, let me tell you something. Martin, we're at the mercy of the Dutchman. <laughs> I'm not going to go any further. The bridge is right there. We got to get this kid home. And that's it. We're going to head back. We need to make another journey. We need to get to the mill. On I, this? I think that's important getting to the mill. I don't care if I gotta walk it through that stuff. I'm gonna walk it so I can say I've done it. You have to do swimming. Okay. okay. I'm gonna have to drag you behind the boat though. What? Like a fishing lure. What? Yeah, I'll catch a big old catfish with your butt. No. No. Alright bud, you wanna jump in? Go for it. No. Whoa! You're water skiing on my feet. <laughs> Gabby, let go, let go. I'm not letting go. You want me to pick you up? Yes. Yeah. Oh. oh, there's mommy. Oh. Marty, come back. You're floating away. I know, bud. You're going to a baseball game, and then you and me will go swimming tonight, okay? Okay. This week on From Mill to Still, we got the rest of our siding, what do you call it, fascia, soffit, boxing done around the single story building, which I was super excited about because we were just like wasp city over here. Uh, I caught Ian with Gaston Roofing out on the job site today. He's a project manager and he's been helping me out here. He's responsible for drying this roof in after we uh, tore it off. You helped us with that. And like no time flat and just, you know, just taking care of a lot of loose ends out here that this old, old building needs to survive. So, Ian, I'm, I'm kind of scared to ask you, but what's been the best part about this job and the worst part about this job? I think both things will be you. <laughs> <laughs> so meeting me, obviously, right? Well, yeah, of course. New yeah. best friend. Then dealing with you. <laughs> then dealing with yeah. me sucks, right? When I call you at seven. Yeah. You know, call me at seven in the morning, you're like, somebody stole my two by fours that I use. <laughs> 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 yeah, so it's been great. I'm not gonna let him talk anymore. But that happened this week. All this is done, so take a look. I showed you last week kind of the beginning of it. Now you can see that we've got the freeze board against the wall, that's hardy, and will be painted. The soffit is vented. We've got a weird insulation thing going on this roof where rather than drop a ceiling and insulate it, we wanted to leave the, f the roof trusses exposed. So we left them exposed and very painstakingly over the course of five weeks, we dropped five and a half inches of insulation between the joist, leaving a three eighths of an inch cavity so we could get airflow between the plywood and the insulation. Uh, so anyway, vented soffit went in and then one by six, what do you call that, rake? Uh, fascia boards. Fascia boards. The rake is on the end. Yeah. I'm terrible. Yeah. I used to be a builder 12 years ago. Um, and it looks great. And then what do I do? I do my underground trenching and then you'll come in and yeah. put gutters up. Right. And then we'll harvest that rain and flush our toilets with it. Yeah. That'd be badass. That would. Definitely cool in the stills with it. So anyway, this is Ian with Gas and Roofing. If for any roofing and siding needs, uh, fair price, top quality work, and I couldn't, you know, I don't want to kiss his butt too bad, but <laughs> I'm more than happy with that. So that happened this week. Like usual in typical fashion, Arturo does most of the stuff out here that's worth talking about. And this week, we kind of knocked out most of the big things. So we're doing punch items, the little stuff, which is the most annoying part of the construction job. I remember doing this stuff and just absolutely hating it. He cut this out, he put this new row lock here, and he plastered this up. So this is really cool because where we're at, where he's standing is gonna be, I guess, the blending workshop. So we'll blend batches of Queen Charlotte here and do uh, make our spice drum there. And this will be nice natural light coming into the warehouse, which is hilarious because now we have one window. It's like Vegas in the distillery now. But uh, what do you think, Arturo? Are you excited yes. to 
You never, you don't want to leave this job, do you, right? You like it out here. I want to stay here all life. You do phenomenal freaking work. He's been getting the water from the creek because we, all of our water is officially disconnected out here. Uh, so I apologize for that. Still getting the sand down there? Yeah, we're still getting the sand. Still getting the sand down there. Sand and water now. What do you think, man? Next step, we just put a window back in this hole, call her a day. Yes, sir. Why you keep cutting door holes bigger than the doors? Hey, man, I never claimed to be a builder. I was a builder a decade ago, and I'm not doing too bad. This building's still standing. <laughs> hey. How's it going? It's going really well. I'm Kaiser. Kaiser. Kaiser from Finland. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. Juicy. Juicy, nice to meet you. Arne. Arne. Hey, hey bud. Nice Eli. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. How's fantastic to be here in the U.S. and North Carolina and not visiting, you know, you. Yeah, and, yeah. And uh, yep. the, you know, the extended family. So mm -hmm. really, really feels amazing to be here after 30 years. Yeah, you know, came out here 30 Carolina. years ago. Yeah, 30 years ago. And stayed and with them. Yeah, yeah, 93. Yeah. 93, yeah. 93. Yeah. That, yeah. that year, well, that's one year. Y'all want to take a tour? How long? Yeah. This is my favorite room. All this hardwood came from the first floor. Everything's reused. So we'll, we'll then we'll rebuild all these windows and the natural light is just amazing. Cause you know, in the 1800s, you didn't have electricity. So yeah. Yeah. this building faces where the sun does this yeah. across the yeah. day. Yeah. And it's always like, you almost don't need light bulbs until it gets dark outside. So how did, how did you start to distill? I mean, why? I was working I was working and traveling yeah, yeah. and I just read about it in a magazine and started making it at home and then fell in love with the process yeah, and started yeah. building equipment. I was kind of yeah. I didn't like my job so I was trying to leave my job yeah. Yeah. and I just kept doing it and then just a little more and more and more and then all of a sudden we were getting paid money to do it yeah, yeah. and so I quit my job and actually Caroline quit her job yeah. before I did Okay, okay. and uh, she was the first employee technically yeah. and um, and we've just grown it up to where it is now. And, and maybe now with this building, we'll settle down. Yeah. <laughs> we'll chill out. <laughs> but I don't know, this building's gonna be a lot. Cause is, is there a story why, why rum? Or Not really. Well, we made rum because I liked rum. Yeah, yeah. And okay. because my friend liked, liked rum, and I was started with him in the kitchen. And in America, everybody drinks whiskey. Yeah. So when you go to the liquor store, all you see is whiskey and vodka. Yeah. And no one cares about rum, brandy, or anything else. So I saw that of, instead of competing against the whiskey, you can make rum because all the other rum is paint thinner. And, and that's why we did it. Hi, Robbie. We'll see you afterwards. Yeah, good to see you guys. I'll see you in a little bit. That was my mother and father in law. And the girl that I was talking to most of the time is a Finnish, ex she was a Finnish exchange student that they lived with, or that lived with them back in 1993. And she's coming back to visit, which is really cool. I think Caroline actually went out there once and saw her to Finland. It's crazy that they're like here after a 24 hour flight. And I can count on one hand, like how many times I cross the river. <laughs> like, I don't ever go anywhere. And they're jet setting across the world. Okay guys, be careful. <laughs> Hello, Muddy River Distillery. Hello. Don't do cocktails in this facility now. So we just don't have the space or we just have the tasting bar so we do private tours if you want as well marty max what's up little dudes hello has marty got you into trucks let's see you know what this is called what kind of truck is this marty a cement mixer it's a cement mixer awesome you know what happens if it stops turning mm -hmm. what happens 
it stops falling out cement. Yeah, and the cement will turn. It's all mm -hmm. mm. Well, thank you so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye. Baby will be here next Thursday, so I guess when this video comes out, probably we will be having the baby at that time exactly. Okay, let's go check shirts. Um, oh, some I new got shirts. <laughs> you got a haircut. <laughs> 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 you are crazy. <laughs> Hi, how are you all? Welcome. Would y'all like to do a tasting? Yeah. All righty. Let's head on in here. This is Marty. What? He's giving you a penny. You're giving me a penny. I'm not looking for a penny for you. He likes to give away money. If he'll try to sell rocks and he'll charge a dollar, but then he'll give you back two dollars. And we're like, that's not how that works. My husband Robbie started the distillery, and he I've gone loves on a tour selling. With him a few times. You I have been in Newton, and I have friends that come in. Come because in. From Indiana. Yeah, I was about to ask, where's everybody from? Raleigh. Raleigh. We're all in Indianapolis. Oh, in Indiana. Nice. In middle school. So I've done the tour several times. You said that your husband started this? Yes, yes. We've been here since November 2011. Oh, wow. This building, yeah. But the new, you're working on the new place. Yeah, so. Where is it from here? It's in Mount Holly, so it's okay. like 10 minutes away from here. And so we'll have a full bar there and food, so it'll be more like a brewery where you can come in and hang yeah. out. And this is really just production space. Next, we're doing the basil rum. So we just add fresh basil leaves, soak them in the rum high proof. For a month, and you came up with that idea. my yeah. husband Robbie, yeah, <laughs> we used to do. Whoa. we used to do uh, basil mojitos, but the basil goes yeah. bad so quickly. We just decided to awesome. throw the leaves in I mean, in the rum. Yeah. You can just pop in club soda, and we'll do a splash of lemon, and you know you have a basil mojito. I will drink that just on rocks. Just straight, <laughs> yeah. Here is the coffee rum. So we use Javesca coffee that's roasted in Charlotte and they developed a special cold brew for us. So it's real cold brew, our rum, and a little sugar. And Thank you for my friend Stacy. <laughs> oh, we're so thankful. Yeah, I'll have to take a picture of you all holding her up if you want to stand at the bar. One, two, three. Yeah! <laughs> It's actually going to be Miles, but he is telling everyone it's Walter because that's what he wants. <laughs> I know, we were going back and forth about it, but went ahead and Kardashianed it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Y'all have a great weekend. We got the crew all together because we're super proud of our carpentry skills out here. Vladimir and all his framing experience and Eric and Kevin and a little bit Arturo. Arturo's <laughs> been busy doing masonry. Uh, finished a lot of the framing out here and we're starting to like, I've been talking to these guys because I don't know what the hell I'm doing to get their opinion about how we're going to do our merchandising here. So where Eric and Arturo are standing is where you will load our merchandise cabinet. So picture this like a milk cabinet in the grocery store. You stand back here and there's shelves. So you have all the rum and you put it on the shelf and then I'm the customer, I come in and I grab the rum and then I grab the first bottle you put on and you can FIFO it. So the newest bottles are in the back and the, the, that's how milk works. And uh, they frame that out. And the next steps to this 
are going to be all the shelves, which will be 29 inches deep. So they're going to be eight feet tall, eight and a half feet tall, right? Eight and a half and 29 inches deep. So that may be a little excessive, but whatever. Uh, they're going to be the old 1875 tongue and groove heart pine flooring. And this stuff is ancient. You can't sand it. I mean, you can sand it, but it's going to mess it up. We're going to scrape it and our neighbor Raphael is going to poly it and epoxy it because we recycle everything. I'm not buying it from Lowe's if I can help it. So all the shelves that are in here will be the flooring, the decking from um, other places. So that happened this week and I'm going to just segue since I got all you guys right into the storefront. So we tore the floor out. You saw that, right? We all did that together. And then we put the floor joist somewhere and then Vladimir and everybody else, we ripped with the giant skill saw, we ripped the floor joist into three pieces making these square blocks, four inch square blocks. So these are 1875 floor joists that have been ripped into three pieces. So one floor joist made this wall. We then dado out these grooves. That way we can set glass in here. So we got a sample glass yesterday, probably top five exciting things that I've done out here. The glass man came out to verify our design and he cut this test piece of glass and it fits perfectly. So basically it goes up into the top groove and then it drops into place and she's all set. Now, once this is up against the side, we'll take window stop here and it'll hold the glass in place so you don't have the movement. This glass on the lower half will be laminated. Up here, it'll just be tempered. So tempered laminated glass down here that resists at least 200 pounds of pressure. Up here will just be tempered, so if it breaks, it doesn't cut you up. And uh, that's it. it. It's built by us. It's perfectly square and level. You worked your ass off to make it just right. And I'm proud of it. It is badass. I mean, that is cool. All 100% of what's here is, is all recycled from other parts of the building. Uh, we'll circle the entire opening and uh, then we'll fill it with glass, call it a day. And that happened this week, so stay tuned for the rest. That pretty much wraps it up on this week from Mill to Still. We have a couple other big like things that happened. Jordan took a vacation, which really sucked for me, so I had to go bottle this week. It's bottling day. Jordan's on vacation, so we're having to pick up the slack around here. That's slacker. <laughs> but this is what 1,284 bottles of basil rum look like. That's some. And then there's the rest. See if I can get them all in one shot. 1,284 bottles. Hit 900 subs, subscribers. I'm not YouTube famous, so I can't say subs yet. That's the lingo in the industry. Uh, it's a good day. We hit, how many subscribers did we get to today? Uh, I heard we got to 900. Yeah, baby. Wow. That was a big moment for me being three years into this stupid YouTube thing. Uh, we got a new employee. Rita starts in a couple weeks. So a Thank you, Rita, for accepting our position. And I can't wait to see where we take this. So that happened this week. We also went boating up the Dutchman's Creek. So that was really cool. We wanted to see how far you could get a 23 foot ski boat up the creek. And the answer is almost all the way here. And uh, I think maybe, maybe a flood or two will wash away some trees and we can get all the way to the cotton mill via boat. So that'd be really nice. We might try that again, actually. That was a lot of fun to do that. That's the best video ever. You know, we saw some wildlife, that was fun. And uh, that's it, that's it, that's, that's pretty much our week. So anyway, thank you for watching so much. Please subscribe to the channel and like. Uh, you might be the 901st subscriber. <laughs> uh, comment if you wanna see anything in future videos and thank you so much for watching. Don't be dumb, drink Carolina rum. Thank you.